So this video is partially going to be about BRSTM files, partially about the program that I quote unquote made to play them. Um, so BRSTM files, these come with like this uh, Wii Brew page says comes with Smash Brawl, Mario Kart Wii, it's literally just the format to play music. And uh, when you play music in a video game, you want to loop the music, right? So you uh, basically embed loop points in a WAV file because it's 80 PCM, that's the kind of stuff you get in a standard WAV file. You add loop points, and uh, you can actually have multiple channels. So like in Mario Kart Wii, um, like if you're going on a track and you get to one part of the track, then you can actually change to like, I don't know, like channel 5 or something. I'm not really sure about all the uh, logistics of that because I haven't done it myself. I more use these for passive consumption of music. See, the thing is, a lot of people uh, have taken a lot of video game music, I love video game music, and they have uh, they've set it up so that you can listen to any song from pretty much any of these games on here all the way down and they've added their own loop points, they've added, uh, well, they've converted them to BRSTMs, obviously, and, uh, yeah, so you can, you can pretty much listen to, I mean, not every video game, but if you can think of a video game, it's probably on here, okay, so, um, let's just go with Final Fantasy, uh, any of them, so I have some music from Final Fantasy 7, some from 8, I think I have a track from 9, I have one from 13 too, um, and now you're thinking, well, if I want to listen to these songs, you play it, and then if you want to listen to it on repeat for a while, then what are you going to do? Well, normally what you would do is you would pull up, let's just say, uh, your music player, so CMuse or something, you know, scroll down to the artist, and uh, let's just play, like, this song. And then it would get to the end. Actually, this is kind of a bad example. Uh, let's find a shorter one. Yeah, so it would get to the end, and then uh, what it would do is it would literally just play the song again after it like fades out. Because most of the time, when people find video game music, they'll like loop it themselves and then find like a fade out point. Now, obviously, you do not want that because uh, I mean, obviously, uh, you want to listen to it forever, right? See, now it just went to a different song. I I don't remember how to loop just one song in CMUs. Anyways, that's not really the point. Uh, the point is that it's kind of annoying to do this. Alright, so I've made this program called, I guess it's called Leeson, Listen, I don't know what to call it. But it's two eyes because inspired by the Wii having two eyes. That's what most people use for like Wii homebrew and stuff. They'll put two eyes if there's an eye. So I was just like, well, this is kind of a throwback to the Wii because I don't know any other console that uses BRSTM files. So BRSTM files, big advantage to them. And um, so let's talk about, I guess, the anatomy, quote unquote, of this program that I've created. So um, just first off, if you want to uh, see this program, go over to git.cbps.xyz slash slimdismycoop slash not dash just dash dot files and uh, this is where I have my configs and scripts and stuff and uh, if we go into local it's taking a little bit to load, my internet's a bit slow here then then go down here you can see we have the lease and script, but I've also created an implementation for uh, status bars. So status bar lease and if you click on it, then it'll pull up a it'll pull up a D menu prompt. Actually, I can show you. Um, click it, pull up a D menu prompt. So random or forever, and then if you hit forever, it'll pull up all the songs that you have. So let's say I want to listen to like Gold Saucer, okay. And now it'll play. Oh my God, that's actually kind of loud for me. Anyways, it'll play Gold Saucer forever with proper loop points, like you, you won't even notice that it's looping around. And if you do random, then it will just forever play random music from your thing. And um, I have it set to loop twice, but you can literally change that in the script. Like, it's at the top, however many loops you want to do. So, uh, enough with that. Uh, so let's talk... <coughs> Sorry, I'm a bit tired. Um, 
let's talk about the script. So uh, there's only two dependencies, VGM stream and MPV. Unfortunately, VGM stream has like a million dependencies. However, uh, I I made a package build to uh, actually yeah it's right here. Um, actually, I'm sure that link is broken because I just like migrated servers and then move everything. Uh, but I made a package build. Maybe I'll pull it up later. And um, it basically installs Leeson for you, and it gets all the dependencies and stuff. So, um, actually, I think, uh, I think eight. No, it's just split. And then let's do uh, the downloads sand. Yeah. So um, here is the VGM stream package, and it's very simple. It's just, you just have to know what you're doing to build it, which it was kind of confusing to figure out until I realized I set it in the readme. Should have done that beforehand. Um, anyways, so run this package build. Uh, I'll probably upload this. Um, I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to make a repository probably for all the package builds I make. I'm going to s eventually submit them to the AUR, see what, uh, see what they have to say about them. But yeah, the, the package in the AUR for VGM stream is like, that's a bunch of complicated steps that you like don't need to do. I'm not really sure why, but yeah, whatever. And um, I should probably get rid of these dependencies: FCF, MPV, curl, GCC. Actually, you probably need GCC, but um, because those these are more for uh, my program than those. I I didn't fix the dependencies because I was just like whatever. But uh, yeah. So we send checks for dependencies, and uh, you get that nice red text if you uh try and run it and you don't have the dependency. That is honestly in my opinion very nice. Alright, so uh let's go down. So uh there's an in order function and what it does it it goes and plays literally every single song in order. Like all the stuff in this directory up here, your song directory, which in my case is music slash BRSTM. And um here's the loop count thing I was talking about anyways. So everything is done from the song directory, so I immediately go into it, and I should probably add some kind of like error handler, handler, like oh if I can't get this, it'll be like hey make this directory or change it in the script. Um, and if I'm gonna put it on the AUI, I should probably have some kind of configuration file it reads. I'm not gonna do that right now, but maybe in the future. Uh, so that's pretty self-explanatory in order. Play random songs from folder forever. Um. I don't know why it says forever. I meant like for whatever, how many loop points you give it. Anyways, that's pretty self explanatory as well. It just plays a random song, loops it twice, and then leaves. Um, select, so, well, I can just actually, I will show you. So, let me zoom in here a little bit. So, if I want to select one, then it will pull these all up in FCF. Um, let's just say, like, bombing mission. Okay. And um, I'll play it, and then you can see when I skip through, it'll actually loop around one time, and then it'll kill itself. I bring it back here, and uh, like from like let's say Costa del Sol, I'll listen to that, and uh, yeah, so it's pretty simple. Um, I forgot. I need to figure out a way to handle Control C because since this is like a wild true loop, if I hit Control C, then I'll just pull this back up again. So you need to hit like Control Z and then hit Control C and Z, whatever. It's just just start pressing random stuff until it works, you know. Um, so that's the selection. Forever. This is the thing where it plays one song forever. You saw that earlier. Um, I can show you. So let's just put on uh, block destruction, and uh, if I just hold and write, you'll see it loops and loops and loops and loops and loops and loops. So we don't really need to uh, get into why that works, but it just does. You, I basically grab the starting. Actually, I'll explain that in the play song function. So what I do is I go, I use VGM stream CLI to extract the information from the BRSTM and then I get the starting point of it so if I actually hold on I bet it's still there it is so here's all the metadata from that and uh, I'm basically gripping out uh, this right here 
the starting point of the loop and the end point of the loop and then I feed it into MPV and actually I don't get the samples I get the amount of seconds um, it's it's not noticeable I'm pretty sure it's the exact same but if it's not then it's like whatever it, you're not gonna notice it and then I say now playing song in case it's random and you forget what, like the name of the song and I'll be like oh that's the name of the song so yeah and um, it, it literally just gets the randomly selected or it doesn't have to be random any of because these all set the song variable to their respective things that's how this knows what to play and uh, yeah and then just gets rid of the extension and then continues playing so um, and then MPV I don't even know about this feature I don't even know if it's documented however it is uh, in the flags like actually maybe it is documented let's see uh, man MPV. Uh, yeah, they have they have quite a bit of uh, stuff in here. So let's just go to uh, type in A B dash loop. Uh, let's see. There's set slash clear loop points. Oh, here we go. Well, this would have been a little bit useful back then. But um, so yeah, this is basically set loop points. If playback pauses uh, the B timestamp, it will seek the A timestamp. So basically, when it reaches the end point, it'll go back to the beginning. Very simple, very self-explanatory. And if you wanna, if you don't wanna like watch this video again to see stuff, uh, you can actually well, first of all, you can just run Lisa by itself. It'll quickly print out some info. And um, if you run man Lisa. As long as you have the file, which is it goes in dot local slash share uh, slash man slash man one, uh, you can find it on the dot files repository. Um, I've written up a bit of a man page for it, uh, and by the way, I wrote this program, quote unquote program, it's more of just a script on 420, so that was fun. Um, and yeah, so nicely formatted manual page, and it gives all the gives all the things that you really need to know about it. And um, I was going to use VGM Stream 123, which is part of the VGM Stream package, except you can't actually seek through the file doing that. So I was just like, MPV is going to be the way to go. Um, here's the help function. Pretty self explanatory. You already saw the help. And then um, this is actually where I check for the dependencies. So VGM Stream, it's literally just checking if the command can run and if not then it's telling the dependency function I have up here right here it'll check that dependency be like oh okay well you don't have it um, anyways and then if there's no arguments supplied then it'll just print the help function and uh, so yeah that's about it less than a hundred lines of shell script I wrote a very comfortable like almost music player for BRSDM files and um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to talk about, but I I can't remember it right now. Um, anyways, that's honestly that's probably it. it was probably something like random or trivial. Uh, basically, go get some BRSTM files. You can get them from SmashCustomMusic.net. I don't know if they support HTTPS. I kind of thought they did, but uh, I guess not. Oh well, I guess they do. Uh, yeah, it looks like they do. I don't know why it automatically wants HTTP. And, um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I guess Dark Reader is just being a bit slow on that one. Um, so, yeah, that's all you have to do. More information for technical things about BRCM files, you can go on WeeBrew because the, this is a uh, format for the Wii. And, um, any of the scripts I ever showcase, they'll all be in this folder. I've made some of them, Luke Smith's made some of them, I've gotten some of them from random places on the internet, but a lot of the time I either made them or customized them from something else. Uh, so I guess this was, this was sort of a fun video to make because it's just something like I wanted to show off, something that I made that's actually useful. So uh, yeah, I guess I will see you in the next video.